Hi, in this video I will show you some important shortcuts inside CapCut for desktop and I'll teach you how you can check, select and customize your favorite shortcuts. Let's do it! Okay, inside any CapCut session, you can click here in Shortcut to learn some of them. But here's the catch. This software doesn't have fixed shortcuts. It has five shortcuts alternative or families. Look, one, two, three, four, or five for you to choose the one who suits you the best. For example, look, we are in the shortcut one family. Look at the split function, control B. Split all, control shift B. We're going now to shortcut two and the split now is control K. In split all, control shift K. Personally, I like the shortcut two because the shortcut one for me to zoom in and zoom out here we gotta press ctrl plus and ctrl minus and that's two keys for one function that i use all the time but shortcut two is just plus and minus just one key to press so i use shortcut two but I still customize it because split I use all the time and I don't want to press two keys just for splitting one clip. So I click here and I click the new shortcut, just the letter K and split all instead of Control Shift K. I'll press Control K. Now I click on save and we are ready to go. If I press K, look at the clip it will split and plus and minus for zoom in and zoom out. But let's get back here to shortcut because I want to show you some shortcuts that are worth memorizing. The main shortcut that you gotta memorize is split. Split and split all because you are always splitting. Split all is useful when you got a lot of clips and you wanna split all in once and move them to another place. So split all is useful as well. Okay, zoom in and zoom out, of course. Previous frame and next frame with left and right arrow is pretty useful. You go a little bit to the right and a little bit to the left. In the shortcut one, it's the same shortcut. Okay, nothing changed. Last cut point and next cut point is extremely useful with up arrow and down arrow, you go to the end of the clip or to the beginning of the clip for you to add some transition and effects are very useful. Another useful shortcut is in point and out point, I and O. When I'm gonna use this is simple. Let's say you've got a lot of videos, three, four, five videos in just one session. And you want to export just one video or a fraction of this video. Let's say I want to export just this part of this video. So I'll go to the beginning of the clip, up arrow, and I will press I, and I'll go to end, down arrow, and press O. So when I export this clip, only this part will be exported. That's extremely useful. And these are the main ones. The other ones you will memorize by use because not everybody use all the shortcuts. And that's it, all about shortcuts in CapCut for desktop. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel to get new content every week. See ya!